Hey, what's up YouTube? It's your boy GD Warrior. Thanks so much for tuning in. This behind me is not a Roadster Warrior. It's actually a Road Glide Special in 2018. And what happened is my starter solenoid and my Yamaha Warrior took a dumb on me. So um, I'll be replacing it today. It made 11 years, so that's pretty good. And in the meantime, I thought, mm, let's rent a bagger because I always like the look and style of it. But there was a few things I don't like and uh, I want to tell you guys everything about it. So let's take that baby for a ride and I'll tell you on the road what I like and what I don't like. It's your boy, GD Warrior. Run. What's going on YouTube? It's your boy, GD Warrior, right here with uh, a very unusual bike in my driveway and that's a Harley Davidson. 2018 street uh, road glide special almost a street glide <laughs> and uh, this one right here comes with a 107 cubic inch engine now this bike is a rental so you see uh, it's pretty beat up um, that's one of the things that I didn't like and I will tell you exactly uh, everything about that you know so if you like this the owner of that rental place told me that he just got the bike like five months ago or so and the whole fucking ceramic coating is already flaking and uh, I cleaned it up let's go gas it up and then I'll tell you guys everything about the bike all right guys let's fire the bike up and let's go for a ride all right so this is the road glide special 2018 model 107 cubic inches I thought I'm gonna get the uh, the 114 from the rental place but um, they didn't have it so uh, I don't think they have it at all but um, this was was a, this one was plenty enough for what I wanted to do my Yamaha Roadstar Warrior starter solenoid decided to stop working so uh, I was like you know what I'm just gonna rent myself a bagger see what they're all about and uh, visually the road glide appeals to me the most um, after that right in line I have the Yamaha Eluder uh, next on my list and what do I like about the bike so the uh, road glide comes with a 107 engine it produces around 107 pounds of torque which is funny 107 cubic inch 107 pounds of torque I think the 114 produces around 120 or 122 pounds of torque to the crank right so this is not uh, these are not numbers that are dyno like rear real rear wheel numbers or anything like this these are to the crank so <clears throat> uh, another thing is I think horsepower wise I saw a few YouTube videos uh, the 107 is in the 70s okay mid to high 70s the 114 is obviously more but this one is the 107 so we'll talk about the 107 now the 2018 road glide special has the old infotainment system on there right the uh, the new 2019 road glide special has, has the updated infotainment system I think they call it boombox or something like that and um, it's much more responsive and stuff this one is really slacky so um, when you start the bike it takes like two minutes or so until the whole system is completely booted up oh 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 there you go see in this case I need the torque which the bike has and um, next thing um, so it takes two minutes to boot up you know like I have my phone connected right now to the Bluetooth and stuff and I start the bike up I gotta wait until my uh, media comes on actually like, let's see if you can see this here on the screen while I ride so right there so on the left side right here on my thumb 
that's how I get into the home menu, correct? And then after that, you use the right thumb to steer basically to the menu, right? Up is uh, up, left and right, down. So let's go to media. Now, when, actually let's go on back. When you start up the bike, you are going to need to wait two minutes if your phone is connected because that media button right there, I don't know if you can see that on the screen, will be grayed out. So now you're standing there, the radio will come on and the media button is gray. You're like, oh shit, is my phone not connected? Hell no, it is connected, but uh, it just takes a while until it starts. So on the new uh, boom box, you can basically like, uh, you know, mirror your phone screen on there with Apple CarPlay. It's like Apple CarPlay basically. And it's also a much flusher system, so it, like it looks better on the screen and stuff much more responsive and this one right here on the 2018 special that's still the uh the old system so you know it's okay you know for the for the basic parts i don't really need it you know i gotta worry it doesn't have anything it doesn't have music it doesn't have abs it doesn't have fucking navigation it doesn't have a windshield or fairings or anything it's just raw right this one comes here with a little bit more gimmicks which i like over here you got two um spaces right there and right there a little fucking uh, fire thingy for your cigarettes so right here there is a USB cable right so you can plug in your phone and we got another storage storage right here for your phone cigarettes whatever <coughs> but uh, storage wise yes it, it's got plenty of space like uh, when I'm on my warrior I don't have any storage right and I got these two saddlebags in the back and uh, I have right now my whole backpack in there with you know a bunch of shit in there like fucking uh, drinks uh, you know microfiber towels and quick detailer of course because the warrior has to be spotless like always and um, <clears throat> okay so let's talk about the things that i like about the bike okay i like how nimble it is to ride i mean you can throw it around here let me show you sick sick and uh it's very easy to handle i like that a lot so it's really nimble to handle uh you got your cruise control here on the left side that's the button right here so watch the screen over down here you will have a uh the light come on now it's yellow that means it's activated but it's not you know on so once i hit it again at a certain speed uh, you're gonna cruise you know you can take your um, right hand off the throttle relax your shoulder a little bit oh there we go relax your shoulder a little bit uh you know on long tours and stuff which is pretty which is pretty nice like after eight hours of riding uh, my shoulder after eight hours of riding my shoulder started to hurt a little but that's fine and um, <clears throat> obviously after eight hours I wouldn't even withstand eight hours on the warrior actually yes I do because I did it already what am I talking about anyways so <clears throat> Uh, price point for the road glide 2018 is around you know 23 grand plus 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 here in South Florida I don't know how it is up north I hit up north they're a little bit more expensive um, and what else did I like so I like the USB charger right I like the navigation which I wouldn't use anyways storage spaces I like it um, I like the color and the look and the aggressive front of the bike right I like how it handles um, let's talk about power it's got plenty of low and torque even the 107 you know so I can only imagine the 114 will be much more fun to ride than this one um, this is just a cruiser bike you know it's not for racing or anything like that <clears throat> that's why uh, they put the uh, 
torque more into the low end with the new Milwaukee 8 engine like I don't know if you guys noticed but even on their websites they do not advertise horsepower ratings on their websites okay so they only advertise torque so that being said uh, it got plenty of low and torque that's more than enough for me you know if you're on the highway and you want to pass a car because it's struggling to uh, you know to hold up with all the other cars and you just you know put your turn signal on left or right and you just pass it when you, you when you hit it you know or downshift so uh, there, there's plenty of it in there in third and fourth gear fifth gear so that's pretty cool um, does it go extremely fast no I think like once you reach the uh, you know 90 miles an hour after that it just goes ooh, it just goes down but I'm pretty sure you can make that up with uh, like performance parts and stuff so uh, these are a few things that I liked <clears throat> um, let's talk about the things that I didn't like I'm gonna show you once the bike heats up It basically rattles and shakes and vibrates everywhere. I can feel it in my feet. See, like right now, I don't know if you can tell. Look at the handlebar. You see how the handlebar is fucking shaking? I don't like that. My fucking bike, even if I grab it, look. My arms are fucking shaking. You see that? Crazy, right? Also, um, like the whole bike is like rattling, shaking. Uh, the kickstand is way too short. Okay. Um, you know, there, it's like it's possible that you drop the bike because the kickstand is fucking short, man. You never know. You know, you're gonna go to the back or so, and you can start wiggling around the bike or do something. This thing can slide off very, very easily, man. So, um, that, those are things that I didn't like. Here's the one more thing that I didn't like, and I'll show you. Let's see if you can see it. Look at that exhaust, man. You see that? The fucking ceramic coating is peeling off, and this is a brand new bike. So, uh, it's a rental, obviously, and the uh, owner of the rental place told me he had the bike for like four, five, six months, something like that. The ceramic coating is completely gone, man. In two spots over there on the top of the header and uh, right by the the muffler you know you know you're getting a brand new bike and after a few months this happens I don't know if this is typical or not maybe because it's a rental there's something something going on or so but uh, I don't like that man you're spending fucking 23 24 grand plus 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 taxes plus dock fees plus this fee plus that fee plus every fees in the world you know you end up with 27 grand or so and then uh, you get this after a few months I hope this is covered on the warranty man it shouldn't do it but because you know like a Harley Davidson I guess it's coming out of the factory you know already like pre-tuned you know, air fuel mixture out of the factory is probably or should have been perfect. You know, so I don't know why this is this ceramic coating is flaking there. I know that the road bike special they come with uh, black dot pipes, and uh, my experience with pipes, you know, I had plenty of freaking pipes for my bike, and there was one specific company who makes a ceramic coated pipes, but it's done so cheaply I think they call it Seracrome or something like that and it's so cheaply made that after two three weeks it starts flaking man first it turns blue and then it starts flaking and then you start getting miserable and then you need more spend more money in order to redo it you know so I don't like that it just shows me that there is something not right Uh, what else do I like? <coughs> I like the f uh, fuel capacity, obviously. I was riding yesterday all day. And um, I just hit a little bit less than half a tank. If I would have ridden on my Warrior the same, the same way I, I rode uh, 
with the road glide yesterday <laughs> I would have fucking filled up twice you know to me a bike uh, especially a 18 man like it should be completely I mean it's filled with technology don't get me wrong right it's got all the bells and whistles and stuff but uh, the rattling and shaking and even like I'm sitting right now on the seat and I can feel all that stuff look at this this is fucking shaking around you know you can, I can move it with my hand um, the handlebars man that's the worst thing uh, the front the front is a little uh, I don't know man the, actually the whole suspension over here the suspension is decent I would say you know it's not uh, not the best suspension I have set on um, I did took a test ride on a eluder Yamaha eluder um, unfortunately I didn't record it because I didn't have my gear with me and um, this I mean this bike is great nothing is vibrating nothing is shaking you know your, your shoulders don't start to hurt after a few hours um, the suspension is much much better you know I feel like uh, I'm sitting inside the bike you know so I'm gonna take you guys on the highway then I'm gonna show you uh, a little bit of the power I hope it's not gonna be too loud with uh, with that helmet on you guys know I like to go fast sometimes sometimes no handling is good but then again you know you're gonna if something breaks and it's not covered under warranty and stuff ooh, it's gonna be expensive my buddy uh, has a street glide he just fucking changed his tire in the back, right? Stock, stock rim in the back and everything. And I think he paid something around 300, a little bit more than 300 bucks. Lots of potholes over here. But the, the suspension is decent enough to take these little potholes here on the street. You know, even on at 80 miles an hour. So uh, let me show you how the cruise control works. Uh, okay, cruise control. I already activated it, right? Here's the yellow light. So if I press it one more time, no, if I push it down, it turns green. See, and now I can cruise, man. I don't have my hand on the throttle. You know, you can give your shoulder a little break or your hands, whatever. Not that it's hard to hold it or anything like this, but it's, you know, it's a gimmick. It comes with a touring bike. And I'm pretty sure uh, it will be beneficial to have it on a very long trips and stuff but if you're power hopping or so you you barely use it so right now I'm cruising 80 miles an hour maybe 79 at 4,000 rpms and uh, yeah, it feels solid though it feels solid on the road you know the steering wheel is still a little uh, a little shaky I don't know if there is something wrong with the front or so maybe people were beating the shit out of it ah there we go yeah it's a little stiff you know when you drive over one of these little puddles <coughs> it's decent but it is a little stiff let's go back to the infotainment center that's another thing I don't like it's sunny right now right I barely see the screen and the brightness is on max I'm playing with the infotainment system when I'm under a bridge in a shell I see it fine but right now it's I have problems seeing it that's another thing I don't like you know why they wouldn't do it brighter I don't know maybe the technology 2018 was not the same like 2019 because we made such a huge jump in in, in technology in one year <laughs> I'm being sarcastic right now just in case you know what I don't like is I got this big gigantic fairing okay and I was riding today uh, yesterday without a helmet and uh, my I mean the wind was hitting me hard and, and straight into my eyes which made my sunglasses wobble back and forth up and down back and forth you know sometimes I had to hold my uh, sunglasses and I ride with my sunglasses all the time on my warrior and I don't have a uh, windshield on there you know 
so it's very strange but uh, I guess uh, the aerodynamics oh when I ride the warrior like the wind is hitting me may maybe evenly on all, you know my upper and lower body and shit and stuff but on here you know my lower body is protected from wind but my head is getting all the wind you know I'm straight in my face even right now I have my helmet on I got my GoPro on and I feel like my GoPro is being pushed pushed towards towards uh, my helmet I'm going right 90 miles an hour right at 90 miles an hour um, I have my full face helmet on with a collar around my neck which come, it comes with the helmet and this is one of the quietest helmets out it's a Schubert S2 and um, <clears throat> You know it's 85 decibels when you when when you ride it but here since the fucking wind hits me straight into my helmet right now as we speak um, it gets pretty loud in my helmet I don't have that in the warrior and the warrior has no fairy let's go let's lean a little bit in the curve here going about 90 miles an hour bike is pretty stable Ooh, that just shot me up here see that's what I'm talking about the suspension man <laughs> my ass just shot up and another one yay yep you know it's uh, I'm pretty sure you can adjust the suspension here somewhere but um, it's pretty stiff ladies and gentlemen welcome to West Palm Beach of Florida anyway so uh, to wrap it up the things I liked about the, you know the gimmicks the look and the gimmicks I like that you know navigation touchscreen uh, radio um, Bluetooth USB charging port you know I like the storage on the bike I like the uh, keyless start um, I like the look of the bike and that's it Pause. What I don't like about the bike, I got a big gigantic fairing and it doesn't do crap, to me at least. Maybe maybe I'm a little taller and you know, I don't know what, what the issue is. Um, I got a little switch here on the left, on the top left, I don't know if you guys can see this right here. You can open it, you can close it, blah blah blah. But uh, I tried it both ways, it doesn't do anything to me. <clears throat> so I didn't like that um, here is the major part that I don't like if I spend that type of money and you know expect high maintenance cost and stuff like this you know um, I would expect the bike to be a little bit more flawless right um, the shaking the vibrating and everything you know it, it almost feels like stuff is loose but it's not you know and um, I would have wished I would have wished that Harley Davidson put a little bit more more work into that and make it a little bit more more stable you know what I mean because I wrote that uh, Yamaha Luder I wrote a chief Tain and they didn't shake or vibrate that much at all see I mean look at this look at my watch I don't have that on my warrior which is a 2008 you know so uh, I hope this was helpful guys you know I could go uh, a little bit more deeper in, into detail you know and stuff like this like weight everybody knows those things weigh between 855 and 875 based on the website you know um, wheelbase and stuff but you can all look that up I'll uh, post a link in the description to the official Harley Davidson website and um, but I wanted to give you like an honest review of how what I feel in the bike you know how it feels and all of that so uh, I hope this helped and um, if you guys want to rent one of these bikes for cheap check out rmmrentals.com that's the only place where I go to to rent my motorcycles um, I, I compared with other 
uh, websites, motorcycle rentals down here in South Florida on the East Coast and they are way overpriced. Uh, RMM Rentals has really good bikes, uh, you know, for everybody, is so there is something for everybody. You know, sportsters, street glides, road glides, chieftains, uh, slingshots, crew, uh, BMW bikes, stuff like that. So uh, go hit them up, tell them uh, GD sent you. So uh, he will be happy about that. Owner is really great. And um, other than that, thanks for tuning in. Comment below what you, how you like this video, you know, how you like the road glide, what bag are you riding. And hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that bell button uh, too, so you are reminded. And I see you guys in the next one. It's your boy GD Warrior. And don't forget, don't fucking die.